Before you understand what it's like to play weak and to play soft, you must understand what it's like to play aggressive. And that's what we're about to see out of Jalen Brown. And so understand how Jalen Brown is going to attack this entire game. Everything he's doing is inside the arc. Everything is meticulous. Everything is sharp. And matter of fact, he also beat the left hand allegations, right? So just understand a possession like this. He gets this down here, Michael Porter Jr. also, but most importantly, this tween. Look at Michael Porter Jr.'s leg. Drops that back, opens up that middle to lead to where people thought he can't go, left. KCP, you see him on the elbow, but guess what? Tatum on the trail, he leaves. And now, add that left hand into his bag this summer, gets his bucket. Look at his aggression going forward. Look at all the moves Tatum is about to do and understand where they go, right? He catches this, boom, in and out, cross. That cross takes him out lateral. Boom, he now takes a spin move. That spin move takes him back out left around his defender. And now he does a low rip through and that's when he finally seeks contact. That is why Jason Tatum has not ascended into stardom yet. Because all the things that's within his bag is not oriented towards him taking advantage of the fact he's bigger than a lot of the people that guard him. Little things like this, right? This is what it's like to be aggressive and not be soft. You use the space that's available and you get through your defender gets left right here gets wide a little bit but says oh shoot i can't keep going out this wide i got a strong side corner help i got help down here i'm gonna go through christian brown get into that body little extension of the arm christian brown touches earth now i fade into my shot that's aggression that's called getting through your defender that's not playing soft and now at this point in the game is where i really began to see that jason tatum's game has thus far been soft by the players he decides to attack at this point right now he's got reggie jackson on him Go in the post. What are you doing? Fuck this set that we decided to run. You match up with Reggie Jackson right now. Stop right here. Clear Drew Holiday out. Get the ball in the post. Go score. But no, what do they end up doing? All right, let's continue to run this set. Let's not break a play. Let me be a robot. Set this back screen. And now what do we get out of this action? Turnover, right? Instead of just taking advantage of what we got, right? And understand, this next play further proved that same point. And the rest of the game is going to continue to do so. Because now, what does he decide to do? He's seeking a switch with Michael Porter Jr. If you wanted to get to the rim, who would you rather decide to get to the rim on? Michael Porter Jr. or Reggie Jackson? Reggie Jackson. What Tatum wants to do is utilize the fact that he is not fast on his feet and he'll fall for his twitches so he can be able to do this right here. Get into his step backs and his pull-ups. That's only going to hurt Boston, especially in the playoffs, if you have your best player only seeking to play around the line and not inside the paint and take the buckets that you could get at any point in time. This is what it looks like to play soft. Jason Tatum gets the switch on to Jamal Murray, right? He gets in the post this first time. And now what ends up happening right now, Jokic comes over, dribbles, boom, he turns it over the first time on the set. Understand what happens the second time. Understand what happens the second time. Same exact set. Next time down. Switch to Jamal Murray. Where does he decide to catch it? Uh, I don't want to get my back turned torn towards the rim. I'm going to decide to go to the corner, face up, despite the fact I'm 6'10", probably 220 to 225, and Murray is 6'4", 6'3", 200, maybe less. And so now what am I going to decide to do? Try to play in my bag, get finessed, turn my back, do my half spins, got nothing, can't cook it up, and now what do I try to do? force something when I got nothing but what you do have is the paint is playing inside the arc attacking the rim but he doesn't do it easiest way to be aggressive getting out in transition you got Jalen Brown constantly at this point in time you just got to understand he not even think about the three-point line <laughs> everybody just worried about him getting into the paint because the way he establishes dominance inside to start the game and so Aaron Gordon right here backpedaling in and outs to break that rhythm right understand that's the most important part in transition. If you want to stop players from being able to time up a charge, be able to time up a block, break up your steps in this range right around the three-point line because now defenders are going to begin to not understand where they need to move. And now it's going to set up this next move, veer step to the body, lay with the right, boom, give me another bucket. He's aggressive. Even though right here, Jokic, little elbow on the step through, he fall down. <laughs> Even though he fell down now, it doesn't mean he can't get back up and understand what he's about to do, right? They still getting back. Jalen Brown, what he doing? He already getting down the floor. He ready to go and attack again on Aaron Gordon. Meanwhile, Jason Tatum's got KCP on him. Primary matchup. He don't even care if he got Aaron Gordon. He know he could take it to the rim. This is a mindset thing as to which Tatum don't even got. And so now, you got Jamal Murray once again. But guess what? Guess what? 
let's set this screen right here and this is going to show you this one thing right is that he doesn't want to attack murray he just wants to use his gravity to get the ball to the person whoever's going to pop because they're going to show on this and now what does this lead to a turnover a turnover understand what's going to happen every single time he does that going forward when jason tatum got those coverages he got doubled Jalen Brown got the same coverages, right? He's about to get doubled. What does, but what does Jalen Brown think in this situation, right? Instead of me just going into this double team, I'm gonna be aggressive. I go away from this double team. And I'm also seeking contact because Gordon steps out here, get through that hip, force you to open up. And now he's about to do exactly what you saw, what y'all said he can't, right? Gets left, gets to a stop. You said he can't use his left? Watch this next move. Boom, tween, cuff pickup right there. One, two, lay through contact. He defeated the left-handed allegations, one, and his level of aggression has also went up, two. And if Tatum applies that same shit, they win in the chip. If not, they not. The same set, right? Tatum, boom, he gets a switch on the Murray. Get in the paint right now, but he's not going to. He's going to do the same pick and roll where he's not even seeking to score. He's just trying to pull gravity and get the ball to somebody else. And now you see KP open here on the slip. But who do you must read in the situation knowing they're going to double? This weak side. Tatum, he don't read that weak side. Turnover. Could have either been as simple as you attack Jamal Murray. Let me catch this at the free throw line. I attack Jamal Murray. Clear out the way. Peep this. Jalen Brown on the contest. They miss. Luckily, they got the rebound and they get an offensive rebound. But he's going to be able to, instead of running to the lane to the three-point line, what is Jalen Brown going to do? Guess what? Guess what you're about to do? inside the arc playing in the paint right he's got kcp right here catch at the elbow i'm not gonna settle i'm not gonna settle and if jason tatum or jalen brown can take advantage of this jason tatum can as well at the elbow right here gets into space forces a swipe on the arm you've seen that foul going to the free throw line right right back to jason tatum they run and guess what oh the same set for what the same switch where you should have already just go and attack jamal murray right there and then right get into the mid-range but guess what catches this and you can already guess what's about to happen you just look at history's past you've seen what happened previously you can already guess what's gonna happen boom they show two tatum ends up going right and now what happens guess what another turnover oh i couldn't have guessed that but this happened about three times already and yet they don't even want to take advantage of the mismatch this is soft basketball whether that's tatum in himself saying i don't want to get there i'm uncomfortable or bazula and their coaching staff just being ignorant and naive and unknowledgeable of the fact that tatum is the key to your success tatum playing inside the arc is the key to your success if you don't get tatum inside the arc if you don't allow him to be a threat at all levels in all ways y'all not going to be able to get far this is how tatum should have attacked this matchup at all times because tatum had kcp right you get these mid-range catches, these elbow catches, keep it this simple. Jab shot over the top. And Tatum's what, 6'10"? You're going to get those a lot, right? And understand, oh, that was one play. They weren't matched up. He gets this right back once again, right? And you just have to simply be aggressive, right? You just have to be physical and open up to these situations, right? So now what happens? KCP tries to jump that. Jalen Brown gets it. And this is the most important part of the play, is that even though you know you got your defender beat, they try to jump the play. What does Jalen Brown now do? Understand that I got help coming over from everywhere because the, the whole defense knows he's beat. Watson stepping over, Jokic stepping over, Jackson also stepping over. So I hit Tillman. Tillman forces Jackson to come all the way over. And now Hauser in the corner, he gets the shot. Patience in these situations are vital. Understand, fourth quarter now begins, Tatum in the game, and they're finally about to do what I've been saying they should have done from the start and should do forever and always, which is actually get Tatum inside the arc and get him looks right gets that first foul call right there now notice what happens this next possession you got watson on you right you got these smaller wing players on you you catch in the mid-range stop settling for threes settling for pick and rolls and notice what he's about to do this is where he's really a threat right notice he faces up remember what i said before his jab jab right there that first jab was just, just to see how are you reacting to this jab right how are you reacting to this the second one same exact movement now i'm just ripping through because I know you're not jumping out to take that away and I have space along this baseline. So I get here and despite the fact I might have stepped out of bounds right there, the ref not worried about that, I'm getting straight to this too. And that's how he could have, she should have been able to accumulate his points throughout this game. Now even in the fourth quarter, where you done had success attacking the rim, you got good looks, put pressure on the defense. What they now decide to do, right? 
screen by Holiday, bring up Jokic. So now you can just throw it to Drew Holiday on the pop for him to take this shot. I don't care if it's that, that's wide open. That was a brick anyways. But I know you could get a 10 times better look if you told Tatum to get inside the arc and get in the paint. 